this next content. We're going to move. I'm going to turn Jaws up just a little bit. Of course. Uh, okay, we're going to moving moving on actually to a W3C website. We're actually looking at these locally uh, on our own machine at the moment, um, so we can access the long desk attributes. Um, some of these have been implemented using what's called a D-link. Have you come across those before? I haven't, Josh. No. Okay, excellent. Uh, a D-link is a little kind of a descriptive link. Okay. So it's I guess it's for user agents that don't support the long desk attribute because the long desk um, is an attribute of the image element. So mm -hmm. some uh, non-graphic browsers, such as Links, etc., like that, don't support that at all. So the D link would would still let them link to um, uh, the uh, description of the image. You see, if, even if the images aren't there, or the browser is not able to actually use images or parse images or whatever like that. Are people still using Links? Um, I guess, yeah. It was, it was my first ever web browser. Yeah. Well, the one thing I liked about Links is numbers. The Links. Right. Yeah, everything's numbered. It's very easy to use. And numbered in source order, is it? Yeah, it would yeah. like say, you know, one home, two, about us, three would be whatever, you know. Oh, very good. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, excellent. So we're on the W3 website. We're actually going to be going into deep nerd territory now with um, CSS2 specifications. So, uh, and we're going to be looking at some images which explain certain aspects of the CSS2 spec, mm -hmm. 2.1 spec in this instance. So um, we're going to be looking at the box model. Okay. Do you know what that is? I don't. Okay. So I'll find out. Please God. <laughs> I'll tell you in a few minutes. <laughs> okay. Right, let's have a look at um, graphics. Yeah. Graphic image illustrated the relationship between content, padding, borders, and margins. Link D. Link D. So that must be my description. That's in this instance. It's your. This is your description. Yeah. Can I make a comment straight off? Please do. Now I know what it is because you just told me what the D link is, and I said that D. What would? Joe out of the computer there, the average user, say when they saw a D in a link? Well, they'd have to be told what functionality it had. But if they didn't know, then if they were just using the website at home. Then they're boned. So the problem is, can that D link be made more? Can it be said, link, press here for a description or something? Mm, or there would be possibly ways about doing that. But again, the limitations in doing that are the limitations of using or relying on, say, for example, the title attribute of the image right. of the link element to be able to actually you know, add additional information. Mm. And you know adding using the title attribute yeah. is really hit and miss and uh, JAWS even when set to read it out for example doesn't always do it and I mean obviously okay like D means description but yeah again yeah. I mean for example in a, in a scenario where a user would be coming across this a lot because they specifically need it because it require it, it suits their needs and their requirements then they would they would know but mm -hmm. um, many users you're right they won't know what it is yeah. so let's try it anyway and see what happens Rapidly, D. Enter. Page has one heading and one link. Long description of illustration of box areas. Heading level one. Long description of illustration of box areas. This diagram illustrates the four areas of the generic CSS box. Content, padding, border, and margin. There are four nested boxes. The content area is the innermost. And padding, border, and margin areas. Each area has a different border style to distinguish its edge. The content edge is thin and solid. Padding is thin and dashed. Border is thick and solid. Margin is thick and dashed. Below the boxes, a legend lists the border styles used for the four edges. Link return to image. Okay. So, um... Yeah, I mean, it again clearly described the four sections, the borders, the paddings. Again, etc., etc., etc. I mean, again, I physically, I in my head right now, I don't have any concept of what that looks like. But do I really need to have? I well, don't think so. We're, we're in, in principle, we're really only looking at implementations of the yeah. actual um, long desk yeah. attributes. So. Um, but I suppose the like, point I'm making is just, be just because I don't have a description, a, 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 a picture in my head doesn't mean the thing is not, it, it just means that my, this becomes yeah. my spatial awareness more so than anything yeah. else. I'll tell you later. Okay, well, I don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's go back then to that page and we'll have a look at some more. Back. Um, some more things. Visited. If there's some more images. Graphic image illustrating how parent and child margins, borders, graphic and padding relate. Visited link D. Graphic, graphic image illustrating how parent and child margins, borders. There's a good point. When I'm reading this with the virtual viewer. Blank, mm. graphic image illustrating how parent and child margins, borders. Graphic and padding relate. It's The description is split over two lines. Mm. Now, I know that's yeah. one graphic. Somebody might think that was two graphics. It is two graphics. Oh, all right. Kind okay. of bundled in together. Okay, okay, okay. As one graphic. Okay. I guess. Okay. Visited link D. Enter. 
page and one heading and one link. Long description of list box example showing margins, padding and borders. Heading level one long description of list box example showing margins, padding and borders. This diagram illustrates the boxes generated by a list with two list items. There are two parts to the illustration. The first shows the actual rendering of the boxes. Bo Sorry, Josh, that's not a description of what, what the graphic said. Right, okay. That's a description of a list item. The graphic said it was about parents and parent and... Back. Parent and child. D visited. Graphic and padding relate. Graphic image illustrating how parent and child margins, borders. Parent and child Graphic margins. and padding relate. Maybe it means lists. Are they... Mm. So, no? Is that different? Um, I don't know. That's the okay. short answer. Let's move on to another one. Visited. Graphic, 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 graphic image illustrating the relationship between... Graphic image illustrating. Graphic the top. Graphic. Oh, sorry. The next, oh, sorry yeah, the next let's try another tab. Yeah.